more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. You know, we're doing at least 30 minutes of overdrive here today, and, and Dr. Group was like, why don't, why don't we just open the phones up for questions about the products or comments about the products unscreened? You don't like the products, you can call in. You love them, you can call in. It's how we fund our operation. I believe in it. I take it in the morning, noon, and night, or 2 o'clock, whenever I get around to it. And, and for me, the highest point stress in my life, you know, when it's all said and done later, I can tell everybody about the stuff that's been going on the last four or five months. But it's been a crazy time. But I, I'm more alive and better than ever. And it's by praying and my family and also taking these products. I mean, Dr. Group, I was already a fan of your products. But these that you developed for us are just groundbreaking. Your questions, your comments about the products are about electromagnetic radiation. The other topics he was covering, we're going to get into RFID and what the smart readers are doing in the next segment, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. And uh, Dr. Group, I've been running over you the last hour. Go ahead. Well, no, it's just, it was, we were talking about solutions because so many times people say, well, what am I supposed to do about all this? What am I supposed to do about, you know, what are the solutions? And I started talking about it's so important to reduce your stress levels and uh, breathe. You know, breathe. And what, what I tell people to do when they're having dinner with their family, sit down in the evening and then everybody take nine deep breaths. And that is one of the fastest ways proven to put your body back in the parasympathetic, uh, parasympathetic state. As a matter of fact, you should do it before you eat every single time because we have people that are literally deprived of nutrition out there that are eating all day long and they're nutritionally deprived because they're not getting the nutrition into their body that they need. So well, everybody uh, knows if you're really upset, you say, I can't eat or if somebody's mom just dies, they'll eat, maybe throw up. I mean, you need to be in a good, relaxed thing to eat food and enjoy it. Right. Why just sit around the table with the family, have a good time, laugh with your friends. That's when the food's good. And chewing your food 25 times or until, or until it's a liquid first. You sound just like my dad. Liquid. You're absolutely yeah. right. <laughs> I do, I've done everything for 15 years to basically <laughs> horrible. Well, because everybody's in a rush, and so they just, you know, go get some fast food real fast in the car, and they slam it down, and, you know, half of it's not even chewed up, and then the body has to work. You know, you start running out of enzymes by the time you're, what they're finding is there people are running out of digestive enzymes by the time they're 28 years old right now. And that means digestive enzymes are what you need to break the food down into the particles that you can And enjoy. they say that's what kills most old people, you know, why they get other diseases is, I forget the name of that syndrome, but more and more, I was reading like major scientific publication, I forget, last year, that exactly their stomachs don't work anymore. They're just not absorbing the nutrients. Right. I mean, a lot of that also has to do with the genetically modified foods and the glyphosate and the BT, you know, the bacillus thuringiensis, you know, bacteria that's burning holes into the gut and causing leaky gut syndrome. And then those food particles and other toxic particles are leaking into the bloodstream and not being broken down. And then once they get in the bloodstream, the body dumps them wherever, you know, is a weak link inside the system. Well, again, I saw a study recently ingested. in mainline science that guys try to pull it up that they've now proven that GMO food is getting into the blood and jumping into our cells. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, this whole social and genetic experiment is just, it, it, see, it, it, Every generation, it gets worse and worse and worse. Like some of the studies they did on rats after the seventh generation, they weren't even able to have any babies anymore. So, I mean, we're coming up probably on like the fourth or fifth or sixth generation here pretty soon. And like we were talking about earlier, at the beginning of the show, when you, when you were talking about uh, long-term evolution, that wasn't talking about evolution. That's what that LTE stands for on your cell phone when you look at it and it says LTE, like light network. That stands for long-term evolution, where you could think into that and say, okay, you know, what is this long-term evolution that they're planning for us with, you know, all this radiation? They're playing God. In fact, that should be the name of this segment. We put it on PrisonPlanet.tv as we are all part of a secret experiment. 
we are all in a giant experiment. We are in the matrix. There's this huge giant experiment going on right now. And the solution to all that is what we're talking about. You know, clean up your air quality in your house, especially when you sleep for eight hours a night, breathe clean air. You know, avoid the fluoride, the tap water, or really it comes down to this. All the chemicals, all the exposure to everything, avoid it and keep your body. We've got to make a break with the system. It's killing us. We'll be back. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. If you watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercials. Commercial, just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at gcnlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at gcnlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER over 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Dr. Group's a really classy guy. I'll show people this on TV. I'll describe it for radio listeners. And we're going to your phone calls here on Overdrive today. I have always wanted, uh, you know, a George Washington letter or something. I'm, I'm not a collector. I, I don't really collect anything except maybe books I like. Uh, but at the same time, I really like George Washington. And so one time I looked up George Washington um, memorabilia and found out is the most expensive memorabilia in the world and his signature is the most expensive signature in the world to show you how really cool George Washington is you know collectors tend to be pretty smart folks and uh, the king of England whenever George Washington refused to be king when they offered it to him said George Washington is the greatest man alive in the world because nobody ever turned down power like that before uh, and that's why they don't tell the true story of George Washington because he was such an interesting person. He wasn't perfect, but he was a man who lived in his age, in his time. It's easy to look back and, you know, say he did this and that. But he was certainly a man's man. Dr. Group gave me all certified from the big official certification place 
uh, from one of his uh, m many letters. Uh, and, of course, this probably wasn't that much. I'm sure it was a very expensive, nice gift, but nothing compared to his signature, which you can't even get, uh, basically. No one will sell the ones they've got. President George Washington, father of our nation, his actual handwriting, the word is flat from one of his letters. And he also gave me a piece of the original Washington Monument. So that is a uber, uber classy uh, gift, uh, Dr. Group. And I really want to thank you um, for giving it to me and all the other stuff you do. You know, you've given me so many other, uh, you know, things to detox and give me great advice. And uh, we just really do appreciate this gift. What made you think of giving this to me? Well, because I have a dream that will go back to a constitution, you know, and, and an environment like the founding fathers, you know, like everything's supposed to be where we actually have a constitution that is, uh, you know, legitimate and that the government follows. And so I know, I knew how much you liked the founding fathers. I knew how much you liked George Washington. So I did some research and tried to get something that would symbolize that and something you could look at and say, you know, one I don't know if I should hang this in my house or if I should hang it here at the office. I don't know, whatever you think. Well, it's pretty neat. You know, my actually my family goes all the way back to the Constitution because who originally wrote the Constitution was a guy named Pelatiah Webster, and uh, and then that's a direct lineage into my family. So really, my great 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 whatever grandfather was the one who wrote the U.S. Constitution, and you the, I have all that documentation, and then also in the lineage is. Uh, the Webster no, seemed to have no, almost written no, everything. No, back Webster, the one that wrote the Webster's Dictionary, is, is my great, 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 great grandfather. Unfortunately, he also wrote the Masonic Code, the hidden code in the dictionary. But, you know, so I, I come from a family that, you know, has, you know, the lineage all the way back to the writer of the Constitution. And so, so you're saying there's a secret code in the dictionary? Yes, there is. Yeah, there's a secret code in the dictionary. And I can, I can tell you, I mean, not right here, but I have the documentation that I can show you that you can that you can actually see the hidden code within the Webster's Dictionary. Now, have the Masons always been run by the Illuminati and infiltrated, or, or, or do they start out good? Uh, yeah, I don't know for sure. I think they, I think they started out good. I mean, as you know, there's, there's just a select group of elites that, you know, have the agenda and that run the world. I mean, like you were saying earlier, you know, when the guy was asking the question about the chemtrails, they don't know. I mean, you know, you're so far down on the list as a congressman or a senator or something like that. They don't even really care about you. I mean, they those congressmen and 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 there's so much secrecy between them and so many levels up to the whatever it is. You know, just a few elite that actually run everything that they don't care about. They don't care what happens to them and what they get poisoned with and stuff like that. So if they find out too much, then they just kill them off as a suicide. But, um, you know. I think that well, it's like your dad helped develop some of the bisphenol A, and you said as soon as he started getting upset about it, he just died. Right? Yeah, he was dead within two weeks. I mean, he and I just, I just not recently, probably about six months ago, found the article that he was about to publish saying that he was wrong, that all the plastics and everything are cancer causing and they should be eliminated. And then he was dead within two weeks. He had throat cancer and it went down his back. It was a strange form of cancer. And then, you know, he was in the hospital and he was gone. And then right after he died, I remember going to my mom's house and there was a group, probably 10 or 15 people there from Exxon uh, with a stack of paperwork that was, you know, probably a few days after my dad had died. And uh, I think they gave her $200,000 or something like that. And basically she had to sign this big, you know, non-release stuff and you know they just paid her off basically i didn't understand what's going on back then but you know now i understand as i'm looking back because i know he was working with during the reagan administration on a um a product he was doing research with the coke because cocaine was getting really big back then and i know they contracted him on some you know situation or some top secret thing to where he was going to put a chemical in the in the processing material to where if you if you snorted cocaine after that it would make you really sick and it did actually for a while slow the cocaine trade down and uh and i don't know that's you know that's just one thing that i found they're gonna have the chemical companies add a buffer in so that their products couldn't be used in the production right that's right. done with a lot of stuff folks don't even know that most chemicals that were originally used in different products 
Uh, they can't even do that now. They have to ship to the factories. Well, it's like you trying to get pure iodine.